Hello everyone and welcome to CAD C tutorials. Here in this video we are going to create animation using the spring. So first we'll create this assembly that you can see on the screen right now. And to create the assembly first we'll create the support then we'll create the spring. After creating both the component we'll create assembly using these two components. And then finally we will apply oscillating motion to the spring. So here you can see animation of the spring. So let's begin it. So let us first close it and we'll go for a file. Select here new part and OK. Now first we'll make background plain white. So we'll select here plain white. Now first we need to create one sketch and for that we'll select here sketch and we'll select here front plane as a sketching plane. Now first we need to insert one vertical center line. So from here we'll select center line and we'll create one vertical center line that is passing through the origin like this. After creating this center line we have to create one sketch and for that we'll select here line and we'll create one sketch like this. After creating this sketch, we'll go for the smart dimension. Now this horizontal line is of 25 mm. So we'll enter here 25. The horizontal distance of this vertical line from the origin that is of 50 mm. Now the length of this vertical line is of 5 mm. And length of this vertical line is of 15 mm. Now after creating this sketch, we'll exit the smart dimension and we'll select here the sketch fillet. In our case, the fillet radius is of 3 mm, so we'll enter here 3. And then we have to select both these corners like this. Okay. And we'll exit the sketch fillet. After creating this sketch, we have to offset it. And for that, we'll select here offset entities. In our case, the offset distance is of 2 mm, so we'll enter here 2 mm. Now we'll select here the entire sketch. Now we need to offset it on this side. It means on the other side. And for that, we'll select here reverse the direction. And OK. After creating this sketch, we have to make this sketch close one. And for that, we'll select here line. And we'll create two horizontal line. This is the first one. Again select here line and create the line over here like this. Now you can see here that the sketch is close one as well as fully defined. So we'll exit the sketch. Now we'll go for the features and select here revolve boss feature. And then we'll click on OK. Now after creating this, we'll go for the appearance. And for that we'll select here entire part. Go for the appearance. In the appearance we'll select here the painted car and select here this gloss blue color. Now we are going to save it and for that we'll select here the save. Now we'll select here the desktop. On the desktop we'll create one dedicated folder and that is spring animation. So that all the parts that are we're going to create will be in a single folder and we'll rename it as a support and we'll save it. Now we'll go for the second component that is the spring. So let us first close it and we'll go for a file. Select here new part and OK. Now from here we'll select plain white. Now after that we'll go for the sketch and we'll select here the front plane. Now here we'll create one vertical line and for that we'll select here line and we'll create one vertical line like this. After creating this we'll go for the smart dimension and length of this line is of 350. Now here this line represents the axis of the spring and this is the length of the spring that is 350. Now we'll exit the smart dimension 
Now we have applied dimension just to get the idea of the length of the spring. In our case, while we are going to create the animation, the length of the spring will be varied. So we have to not fully define the length and for that we will right click on this dimension and we will delete it. After creating this line, we will exit the sketch. Now we have to create the cross section of the spring that is the circle. For that we will select here the sketch again and we will select here the front plane as a sketching plane. Now we will go for the normal view. Now here the cross section is of circle so we will select here circle and we will create one circle over here like this. Now we will go for the smart dimension. The diameter of circle is of 20 mm so we will enter here 20 and the distance of center of circle from this line that is 62.5 so enter here 62.5 after creating this we will exit the smart dimension now we will select here center point of the circle press ctrl and select here the origin for both of these we will select here horizontal as a constraint and click on ok now here also we have to not make the sketch fully defined and for that we will right click on this constraint and we will delete it. Now after creating this we will exit the sketch. So till now we have created the length or the axis of the spring as well as the cross section of the spring. Now to create the spring from these two sketches we will go for the features and select here swap boss feature. For the cross section we will select here this circle and for the guiding curve we will select here this vertical line. From the options we will select here the specified twist value and in our case we will go for the revolutions. Now in our case the spring is having 8 revolutions so we will enter here 8 and now we will click on ok. So this is the second component that is the spring and now we will go for the appearance. So we will select here entire part go for the appearance and from here we will select candy apple red. Now we will save it and for that we will go for the saves and we will name it as a spring and we will click on the save. So after creating both these components we have to create the assembly and for that let us first close it. We will go for file and select here new assembly ok now first we will insert support so we will select here support and click on this open button now first let us make background plain white so we will select here plain white after creating the background plain white we have to create copy of this part to create the copy first we will press the control button then we will select any point on this part and just drag it like this after creating the copy we will go for the mat now we will select here this face and select here this face. For both these faces we will go for the parallel as a constraint and from here we will flip the alignment. Ok. After that we will select here the cylindrical face of both the support. So we will select here this face and select here this face. For both these face we will select here the concentric as a constraint and click on ok. After that we have to specify the distance between these two support. So we will select here this face and we will select here this face. For both these face we will select here the distance and we will specify distance as a 350 mm. Now we will click on ok. Now we will exit the mat. So here we have initially specified the distance between the two support to get an idea. But while we are going to create the animation, the distance between the two support will change. So from mats, we will delete the distance and ok. Now after that we have to insert the second component that is the spring. So we will select here the insert components. Select here spring and we will open it. Now after inserting the spring, we have to insert the spring at the middle. And for that we will select here the spring, we will go for the sweep. Now we will right click on the sketch and select here show. After that we will go for the mat and select here this line. 
Now we select here the cylindrical face of the support. For both of these, we'll select here concentric as a constraint and click on OK. And now we'll exit the mat. After that, we'll right click on this sketch that is this line and again we'll make it here hide. Now we'll drag the spring over here like this. After dragging the spring, we'll right click on the sketch of the spring and for that we'll go for the spring, sweep and we'll select here the sketch that is circle. So we'll right click on the sketch and select here edit sketch. Now here first we have to save the assembly. So we'll select here save and continue and select here rebuild and save the document. Now we have to specify the name of the assembly. So we'll name it as a final assembly and click on the save and save all. Now here we can edit the sketch. So first we'll go for the normal view. Now here we'll select here the circle, press control and select here this edge. For both this component, we select here the tangent as a constraint and click on OK. So we have edited this sketch. So we'll exit the sketch. After that, we have to edit the second sketch that is the length. And for that, we'll select here the sketch one. So we'll right click on the sketch one and select here edit sketch. Again, we'll select here the normal. Now from here, we have to drag this endpoint like this. After that, we'll go for the smart dimension. The distance between this endpoint and here this edge, and that is of 5 mm. So we'll enter here 5. After specifying the distance, we'll exit the sketch again and we'll exit the component. After modifying both the sketches of the spring, we'll go for the animation, and for that, we'll select here the motion study. Now first we'll go for the settings and we'll make frames per second as 30 and click on OK. Now we'll go for the timeline and we'll select here 10 second for the animations. After that we'll have to apply the motor over here. So we'll select here motor. Now in our case we want linear motion of this support and for that we'll select here linear motor or actuator. Now we'll select here the part that is having the linear motion. So we'll select here this part. Now this shows the direction of the motion, but in our case, we want the opposite direction. So we'll select here the opposite direction. Now from the motion tab, we'll select here the oscillating motion. In our case, the amplitude is of 60. So we'll enter here 60 and the frequency is 0.3. So we'll enter here 0.3 Hertz. After specifying the amplitude and the frequency, we'll just click on this OK button. Now we have to select here on this calculate button. So it will make some calculations. It may take several seconds. Once the calculation is complete, you can select here play from the start and you can see the animation of the spring. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then please hit on the like button, share it and subscribe to this channel CADCAMC Tutorials. Thanks.